Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to the RC Bastion. And I just wanted to start off the video by showing you a little bit about what I've been doing. Uh, just in the shed, just in my shed. Um, this place used to be an absolute mess. It still kind of is. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've slowly, slowly been doing and slowly, slowly been organizing. So on the main workbench here, we've obviously got the crate and this is where we're gonna be doing our kind of primary hobby. Um, I do plan to get a workbench mat of some sort um, just to help because this, this, this wood is really old and a bit filthy actually. So it's not filthy, but I cleaned it a little bit, but uh, the wood's very old. So I do plan to get some sort of a mat uh, that covers the majority of that, which will be very, very nice. Um, along the top here we have, um, it's just a temporary spot to put some radios at the moment. My charging station's here. I plan to upgrade my IMAX with a dual charger very soon. Um, and then because it does get very hot and you can see the color bond material uh, in the sheds, it's not the most ideal place to have electronics going. <laughs> um, uh, so I do have this kind of just bathroom fan uh, here circulating some air over the electronics here. Um, I do, this used to oscillate, but it doesn't anymore. So they're only like 15 bucks from like Kmart. So I'm gonna get a new one that does oscillate and that way it can just cover, you know, a lot of the space here. Uh, I do have an Xbox One, uh, very budget monitor here. So while I'm waiting for things to charge or whatever, uh, I can just do some little uh, old games here. Um, and then obviously I've got the, I put the Traxxas Slash 4x4 out here to remind me um, to, you know, get working on it as soon as possible uh, because I do really want to drive that, but I think it's got a lot more problems than I initially thought. So that one's definitely going to be a project. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's kind of, this is the Bastion. Welcome to the Bastion. It's slowly, slowly going to get better and better over time. Um, but did you guys notice? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got we've got a few things to talk about today, guys. That's for sure. Um, so I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod. So basically, I went over a lot of what I did to it on that update video that I made. Um, so I won't go over all that again, all those necessary upgrades and whatnot. But like you did see in that short little intro, we uh, we got one. And by we, I mean myself. <laughs> this is a Hobbywing Easy Run Max Six. Uh, 1650 ESC and motor combo. So anyone who kind of knows a thing or two about, you know, RC and then one scale, uh, eight scale trucks and whatnot, uh, they'll know that, that that system is probably the uh, the go-to system to, to just have a absolutely 100% reliable RC. Instead of spending some money on a new Spectrum motor. So uh, long story short, I won't bore you with details guys. Um, the Spectrum mode is suffering from some overheating problems, so it does seem to overheat sooner rather than later. Um, so it's not, it's definitely not working 100%, but I don't know, maybe if I can put a good enough cooling fan on it or something, uh, I might be able to get it to work okay again. Um, but anyway, that's a story for another day that we're not really going to get into. So the truck, yes. Alright, so full disclaimer, I completely butchered this install. <laughs> I completely butchered this install. It's it's a very temporary thing uh, because I do have the connectors coming very shortly. I already have my uh, 10 gauge wire for the bridge. Anyway, I'll, I should give you context. So the motor went on fine. The ESC went on fine. Very, very uh, typical layout for, for your Max 6. It, it kind of looks the same across all your... your uh, chassis, uh, but for the keen eye of you, what have I done? Can you can you tell? Put in the comments if you can tell, if you knew straight away. Um, yeah, you'll notice it's got the original IC5 connectors on it. Yes, guys, yes, it's, it's exactly what you think. I, I cut the connectors off the Spectrum ESC and I soldered them directly onto the uh, positive and negative 10 gauge wire of the Max 6. All right, so uh, I cut the original IC5 connectors off the Spectrum, soldered it, soldered it straight to the uh, 10 gauge wire off the uh, Max 6. This wire here was for the um, smart technology of the, the system. So 
it wasn't being utilized it doesn't really matter guys i know it's a very dodgy it's a very dodgy install it works it works it works flawlessly um but i am going to fix it very very soon because i know with this there's lots there's more resistance than what should be i don't think it's hurting anything much uh especially not if i run it like this long term i don't think it's hurting anything but there is lots of resistance obviously in the solder points and with the electrical tape and whatnot so uh, i do have the, the the ec5 connectors coming that will be fixed probably by the weekend today is thursday uh so by saturday that should be 100 percent fine but for the few packs i wanted to test it with uh it's only had one one uh six cell pack put through it so uh for the for the little bits of driving i wanted to do to test it um it's fine for that. It's absolutely fine. Uh, the temps are fine and it, it runs beautifully and uh, the, the wires don't get hot after it's run. So it works really, really well. Um, the install went fantastically. It's got a 15 tooth. It's just got the armor stock 15 tooth pinion on it. I do have a motor fan coming on the way. Uh, it's just the Hobby Wing 40 mil with the big heat sink, which is really nice. Uh, I, I went that 40 mil fan because I can upgrade to a nice aftermarket 40 mil fan in the future if I ever decide to put an 8S pack through it, because yes, it's 8S capable. Um, so the Hobby Wing system, guys, the Hobby Wing system swapped from the stock Spectrum system, right? So you can see how that goes together. And I've got some footage of the difference in size of the motors hand to hand, but this thing's huge. It, it, it's absolutely massive. It's the biggest, it's the biggest motor I've ever laid my hands on. Um, and guys, it's it's it just performs so well. It performs so well. It's it's not like it's very familiar compared to the the stock system that comes with it. It's very familiar, but then at certain points of the throttle, uh, where you would expect kind of like a linear power delivery, it just wheelies. It just picks up and wheelies and goes, and it does go a lot faster. I can just tell when it's coming at you when you do your flybys on the grass or whatever you're doing them on. Um, it just, it feels like it's approaching a lot quicker. It feels like it passes you a lot quicker. And again, I can try it on an 8S. So there's no way I'm going to do that now. Uh, not with, with no fans and not when it's getting as hot as it does already. Um, but you know, I did really put it through its paces. So yeah, besides showing, showing you a running video. So that's the next thing you guys are going to see. Um, it'll probably be within the next few days. But basically, guys, yeah, the Creighton is uh, is it's back to life. It's it's loving its new power system. Um, my goodness, guys, does it go? It it absolutely flies. But it's sort of undrivable. <laughs> it's sort of undrivable because uh, the diffs need fluid in them. There's fluid in the diffs. I've checked, but they need new fluid uh, because the fluid that's come with them, it's just it's so loose. It's very very loose. Uh, and the wheels just balloon and the wheels just spin like crazy. So I can't get any traction to the ground. That could be also why it gets a little bit warmer than usual because it's just it's just spinning off its head. Um, but yeah, guys, so as far as the programming went with the with the Hobby Wing, it was very, very simple. You, you can program it all through the, uh, the program button and the set button up the top here. There you go, just there, program and set. It's, it's, it's virtually the same as the Spectrum system, you'd expect so, as they're, they're basically owned by the same company. But uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. Next thing I'm gonna I'm gonna show you is a running video just to show you the performance of it. Um, and I'll I'll uh, I'll catch you then. Thanks for checking up. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to show a like and a comment and even subscribe if you liked it. Uh, and then that way you won't miss the running video with this absolute beast of a motor system. So uh, yeah, guys, take care.